And welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie Part 3. And we've totally demolished the uh, first level. So we make our way to the second one. That door was easy to get past, unfortunately, you're first and last. Yeah, whatever. Hello there, young ones. I'm Rendilla. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna do that voice anymore. Rendilla's nicer sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Grunty's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you three of them every time you find me. Remember them well, young ones, as they will help you avoid a fiery fate. Press X if you'd like to hear them. Well, um, to be honest, we're not going to listen to them. Um, I'll make a separate video for that close to the end of the game, because apparently, um, before the final boss fight, you have to do a trivia, which... God, man, I suck at that. Uh, I'll have to do it. And here we go, there's a the second level, we done the Treasure Trove Cove. Shiny. Alright, before we go in the second level, we're going to go over here and uh, kill this guy that goes rawr. I don't know, that might be the title. Go down these stairs, and hey look, there's a sleeping cauldron. For some reason, cauldrons can sleep. You've activated a magic cauldron. Find two with the same color to create a shortcut. Yeah, whatever. Get some eggs, because we suck. And as you saw, there's a mumbo token. So, yes, uh, you can get mumbo tokens anywhere. Even if the world doesn't have a transformation, there is, still is possible to get mumbo skulls randomly. <laughs> Okay, so now we're in this, and we're progressing, and we go in the hole up here with the creepy eyes. Ooh, a switch. Let's press it. And the reason why I'm doing that switch is because it will lead us to the third world, I think, but we'll get into that later. Okay, let's go back out. And uh, I'm from now on, I'm going to be doing my recordings in an awkward position while I'm doing my commentary, so I apologize if my commentary is a little off. Ow. Alright, get the honeycomb piece. Oh, um, and there's a gold feather up here. Do loo loo. Lucky you, I'm an invulnerability feather. Bottles will tell you more. So energetic. You've activated a magic cauldron. Find two, the same color, and yeah, well, whatever. Invulnerability feather. It's almost as bad as power thirst. Power thirst. He gives you energy. Energy legs. Oh. Okay, we're not gonna do that. Okay, he's on to the second level, guys. This be treasure trove cove or whatever. All right, let's go in. So, uh, I've recently, yes, I've still been watching my subscribers and YouTubers out there, and, uh, King Halbert has got a video of himself doing a vlog and talking, which was actually pretty cool. Um, thank you for that, because that actually kind of makes me want to do one myself, but maybe sooner or later. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to be able to do that, because it'll be my first time in person, you know, on camera. So, I don't know how that's going to turn out. Darn you, Jinjo. Why would the Jinjo put itself underwater and be like, Hi, come get me. Man, that Jinjo must be a Blitzball player to stay underwater for that long. Hey, this Nibber beats you. Find nothing without Nibber's help. Help us then, whatever that said. Er, cheeky bird need feathers clipping. Oh yeah, just try it, shellhead. All right. You peck him in the face, run away, wait until he does his little clippers twice, go around up there and peck him in the face again, and you do that three times. Oh. Owned. Alright, now that we've killed him and he crawled back inside of his shell, we're going to go inside, which makes no sense, because when you go inside here, there's notes. Uh, cool, I'll guess. And he's nowhere to be seen. So we're just going to come in here and claim our prize, which is in fact, uh, oh god. Round pound, a whole pound, two, multi girl. All right, we're not gonna do that. And we get our first jiggy of the level. Cause literally, 
Yeah, I know all about that. Get some eggs because we should suck at shooting. And we crawl back out. It's a very colorful shell of a big nippler. Saving, that's a good thing, I guess. Okay, let's grab a- oh, I completely missed you. Okay, you know, whatever. We're gonna go over here and find our first honeycomb piece of this world. So we're gonna go ahead and grab it. But of course, Snacker is gonna come over here and try to bite us, which I know he's probably going to. Oh, no, no, oh, God. Come on, make it, make it, make it, oh. Come on, man, you hit me with your tail. How does that hurt? But anyway, we're just gonna kinda crawl out this way and, oh, the camera, dear. God, okay. I think I'm good now, I think I'm, get, get. Get off the tree, get off. Okay. I'm just not having much luck with this world. It's really biting me in the ass. But, um, enough of my butt, but, um, and that was my cat meowing in the background. Um, pick up these notes in the trees. They're in the trees, man, they're in the trees. I don't know, I didn't see anything. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and go in this hole under the ship and you'll see why in just a second there are a few collectibles which is some notes of course and there's a mumbo dug on the other side but we can't get to it so for now we're just gonna go here and get this piece of treasure ahoy there I be blubber's treasure yeah okay so we get the heck out of here and Make our way to the top of the ship and see what we can see up here, and yeah, all that jazz. Whee! I'm a red feather, I help Kazooie fly when she knows how. That was very sarcastic. At last, it better be easy, ball guys. Simple enough even for you, bird brain. Just stand on a flying disc and press A. Here's 25 red feathers to help you into the air. See ya! Hmm, I'll, uh, I'll fill you up. Okay, thanks, pal. You jerk. Yay, there's the green ginger. Progress. To fly higher, you'll need some red feathers. Press A to use one. But remember, that beaky can only carry 50 of them. You can also turn sharply while in the air. And you know, we're getting this jiggy and stuff without even listening to it. Okay, Gruntilda, I'm so sorry, but we will not give you back your dream. Coffee and mint? I'll be right over. Oh, co coffee and mints? Uh, I have never heard of coffee and mints before. That's kind of weird. Okay, so there, here's the second hole thingy on this side. First, we're going to get some notes down here. And there's going to be a mumbo token, which we can grab. Now, there's no transformation for this area, but... We're gonna get it anyway, so we can save up for in the next one, which I'm not sure if there's any in the next one either. Well, actually, there's not. I don't think. Spoiler. Um, yeah, you didn't hear me. But, um, give back his treasure. Take this one to spend, spend. What? Okay, so anyway, we'll get this jiggy right here. Okay, that's three out of ten. Another Mumbo token. Oh, I got five Mumbo tokens. Go back here, get the rest of the notes, and miss one. But yeah, um, random shout out to Dog Buttman again. He's really jumping ahead in his Kingdom Hearts Let's Play, and it's making me a little eerie because I really need to catch up, otherwise, I'm in trouble. You'll reach new heights with my shock jump spring. Does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Don't worry, the turkey does all the work. Simply stand on a shock jump disc and then press in and hold A. Nice going, you learned all the cove's new moves. Great, now we don't have to worry look at your stupid face anymore until the next episode. Well, actually not really, because I doubt we're going to finish this within three minutes. Kazooie! Uh, that's the purple pink one. I don't know which color that is. More notes up here. 
without a crab trying to come kick my ass. Oh, look, wait, there's another the gum piece. Let's go grab it and jump in the ocean like an idiot when Snagger tries to own us. Grab, 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 grab. All right. Okay, that's four. So in the next level, we know there's going to be two more. And you know what that means? We'll be getting a new extra honeycomb in our health bar or, yeah, HP, whatever you want to call it. So uh, I guess we're going to climb up here, go back up here. Because if you climb all the way up there, there's another jiggy, but I don't think we're going to have enough time for all ten, so we're just going to do the best we can and do, well, not really a speed run, but more like just getting everything, like I said. Okay, anyway, that should be, that should be four, yeah. I thought that was five. Why did I think it was five? Anyway, I guess we're going this way. All right. Mine in the water. Let's go in the water and see what happens. Get away from me, get away from me, get away from me. Maybe we can jump out of the water. Can we beat it? Can we beat it? Oh. Now there's actually an easier way to do it. If you go up there, like there's like this little bugget thing, he'll tell you, oh, you fixed a peat leaky or patched up or something. I don't know what his name is. You could have made the water go away and explode that bomb and you could have flown on top of this to get the notes but you know um, we like doing it the stupid way so okay now I'm gonna go up here and talk to him because he should be right there me leaky no good oh never mind leaky backed up now help Baron Bird I think that's what he said how can it talk? Alright, uh, I guess we're going in here. But yeah, shout out to Dog Button, uh, King Helvet, um, Tina Vod Rotter Games, doing a great job. Let's see, who else? Um, pretty much all my subscribers and all my subscriptions and stuff. Um, thank y'all for watching. Yeah. I know I, put, I say a lot of shout outs and, you know, thanking everybody, but. You know, I'm just that kind of guy. I'm a nice guy. But anyway, here you go. I'm spelling out Banjo-Kazooie if you couldn't tell already. And you got 100 seconds, so it's not really a big deal. Unless you don't know how to spell it. But they conveniently put Banjo-Kazooie on the wall just for such an occasion. They go to wind your eyes, but first that'll cut you down to size. Oh, never mind. Oh, glitch. All right, that's five. That's half of the world already. Can't forget these notes. Otherwise, if I forget them, then I'll have to get all the other notes. And I really don't want to do that, so. Okay, what to do, what to do, what to do. Um, I guess we're going to go over these treasure chests over here and see what's inside of these. Like, I, don't you remember earlier, in, like in the first episode, I told you how everything in this game has eyes and a mouth that can pretty much talk? Well, I was right. Apparently, you can see the treasure chests in this world have teeth, and yeah. I don't know. What, I don't know what my point was, but anyway. Uh, it's going on to 14 minutes, so uh, I guess as soon as I hit get on the top of this little spiral thingy, I guess I'll end the video. But yeah, uh, I hope this part was enjoyable. I hope you got entertained. Because I was. Yeah, maybe. Okay, guys, uh, remember to rate, subscribe, and comment. Alright, I'll see you guys later.